Family and friends are gathered here along Main Street in Laurel, honoring Cassie's memory, just weeks after her untimely death. Photos are scattered around, showing off her warm smile, reminding loved ones of the beautiful woman taken too soon. She was just really amazing. She was Cassie. <laughs> For the Macaulay family, the past few weeks have been a nightmare. As sisters, you know, siblings fight here and there. But when we weren't butting heads, we were really, really close. <laughs> After Cassie Macaulay's death just over two weeks ago. That was like my right hand, so... It's hard. According to the family, Cassie was fleeing a domestic violence situation on January 31st, walking towards a truck stop to escape. Loved ones were unable to make contact with her following a phone call that was cut short after Cassie stated she was being followed by her abuser. Over the next few days, there were no signs of Cassie until February 4th, when her mother, Mary, discovered her body on the side of the road. We just want change for a future, so nobody else has to go through this, and certainly no other mothers have to find their own daughter. Cassie leaves behind an eight-year-old daughter, Kimber. Hi, she's shy. <laughs> The family is still searching for answers, growing frustrated with the handling of the case. We need help from the police department, so we shouldn't have to beg. MTN News reached out to Laurel PD Friday morning requesting an interview or a statement, but has not heard back. According to Yellowstone County Sheriff Mike Linder, the case has been turned over to the county attorney's office, leaving Cassie's loved ones grieving. Cassie was beautiful. She was just loving and caring. God bless Cassie. I wish she could be down here with us. She was very kind and genuine. And she was a really, like, nice person. I, I would never forget this. On Saturday, a candlelight vigil was held near where Cassie's body was discovered. Her family has big plans for the future, ensuring what happened to Cassie doesn't happen again. We really have a mission for change, and we are also organizing things with some other parents that you will soon know to be very big names around here that also lost their children. We're just asking everybody, if you could please follow along with our story, um, that would be wonderful. In Laurel, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.